What's up, what's up, it's Papa YouTube, it's your girl, everything, Alex, and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. Um, before we do get into this video, please make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe, you know, all of that, hey, all of that, hey, hey, all of that, hey, all of that, and make sure you do keep supporting the culture all 2020, gang, 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 can you stop, hey, won't stop, hey, dun, 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 Hey, duh. hit it one more time, dun, 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 snake, stop playing with me, um, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you do keep smoking the culture all 2020, um, if you are new to this channel, what's good, what's poppin', what's up, happy to have you here, and if you are a returning subscriber, I love you, I love you, okay, I appreciate the support, the consistency, you inspire me, okay? Um, so yeah, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you do keep supporting the culture. 2020, can't express that enough. Um, so today's video is going to be yet again another story time. It's going to be a story time on how my mother found out her baby girl was not a virgin, okay? So if you're ready to hear what happened. Stay tuned. <laughs> so without further ado, we just gonna get right into the video. Alrighty. So this is how this is gonna be the story time on how my mama found out I was not in a version. Okay, it was a pretty it was a pretty pretty sad day. Okay, pretty disturbing sad day. So growing up, and just get right into it. Growing up, growing up. My mama had a lot of kids, okay, so, um, like, um, so, like, in my mom's household, it was, like, how many of us was it? It was me, and my sisters, and my brothers, so it was, it was, it was, like, five of us, so, like, honestly, growing up, I never stayed with my mom, I, I was staying with my grandma for a little bit, and then I ended up moving with my mom, and um and like even when i was staying with my grandma my mom a very present mother because aren't all mothers um so yeah like um child get on with it stop stalling um but yeah so when i was when eventually ended up staying with my mom and like you know so my mom had five kids she was a single mother or whatever and i'm gonna be honest with you ain't nobody doing it like no single mother period like so kudos to all the single mothers because like even seeing that as a child it's like single mothers do so much and honestly i feel like that's why my mentality is so mature you know um seeing my like having to grow up like that and i'm not trying to act like it was like the worst conditions ever because i know some like people have been through worse but i'm just saying like just in general like um being a single mother and raising five kids And honestly, like, that's the reason I am the way I am today. So, um, shout out to my mama for that. Hey, girl. Um, but yes. So, yeah. It was all of us, single mother, taking care of us. Or whatever, you know, living our little happy little single mother life. Doing what we had to do. Or whatever. And then we finally got to the age, like, finally got to the age to where, you know, people start having cell phones. Because, um, if any of y'all remember um growing up we didn't have cell phones that was the least of our worries okay um if we wanted to talk to our friends we went outside <laughs> if we wanted to talk to our friends we talked to them at school so it wasn't no oh we got a phone we can call no 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 no, no. we ain't doing none of that you're gonna act like kids you're gonna play like kids so that's the era i grew up in i don't know about y'all so yeah at the time didn't have no phone until like towards like middle school got into middle school that's when um you know and it was just for like kind of like emergency purposes really and so since like i said my mom was a single mother she had no money to get all five of us no phone so like my older sister she um she she had a job so she she was doing all that by herself mm. shout out to you too girl but um yeah my older sister she was taking care of that herself so my mom ain't have no money to you know spend on on like um you know 
five kids. Oh, it was six of us. I forgot about my little brother. How could I? How could I forget about Billy? Um, but yeah. So yeah, it was six of us, and like my older sister, my mom didn't really have to worry about her because she had a she had a job. She was just not getting a job, and she had a boyfriend. But like the rest of us, so then it'd be five of us. Um, she wasn't about to buy everybody no phone. You know, just. How, how can you do that on a single mother's income you can't do that so um it came to the point where all of us had to share a phone and it was easier said than done but me being who i am i had to finesse them so someone would get the phone at the school someone would get the phone at the school someone someone would get the phone in the middle of the day so like you know the little prime afternoon time and then um someone would get the phone at night which was me i got the phone at night and then since i had the phone at night i made myself responsible to hold the phone during school because <laughs> i said i'm the most responsible one anyways so i'm gonna hold the phone during school so like the way i finesse them is like i had the most time with the phone to be honest so yeah so yeah um one of like so at night, I had the phone. Go to school, I still got the phone. When we finally get home, and like, you know, school was like seven, eight hours. So you finally get home, then I gave someone else the phone. And then after that, they, it, so it was kind of like they wasn't really sharing the phone and not me. So, cause like, and I didn't really care about having the phone like at home because I could just go outside, you know? Like whatever I needed to do, I could go do it. Or whatever and I could just text whoever I needed to text while I was at while I was at school and then they already know you know what time it is you know so yeah we was all sharing the phone or whatever and then like I'm the I'm the youngest girl so if I'm like I'm like the baby so I get what I want what I want you know and like, I was like the most mature of everybody so yeah we were sharing we was all sharing the phone and you know just doing all that until finally my birthday came and i was like oh baby i can't be sharing no phone with them we ain't doing that no more. we can't be sharing a no phone so we and um like me my mom my sisters and them we ended up like well all of us we ended up going to like the store and my mom bought me a phone and of course the rest of them were mad because it's like well damn how you get a phone you younger than all of us the rest of us still gotta share you get your own phone but you know came finesse finesse so um so yeah my mama got me a phone and it was a what was it it was a it was a rumor touch y'all and it was a little slide up yeah it was a slide up rumor touch and and like it was just boy the best thing ever and i used to be on that keypad <clears throat> getting it in boy you could not play with me that's when fun for mobile was out it weren't no apple music back then it was fun for mobile when you got your little got your little ringtones or whatever so yes uh, don't play with me it was a blue rumor touch oh my gosh i love that phone so much and so yeah had my own phone or whatever everything going good you know live my best life and then like one day my sister asked to use my phone um my older sister i don't know what she needed my phone for but child so she was asking to use my phone and so i went outside because i didn't want to make somebody i'm like watching her or whatever but lo and behold i should have been watching her so so I go outside and then like minutes done pass and I finally realized like, well dang, she still got my phone. And I was like, literally all my business was in there. So I went, I ran, uh, I ran to go get that phone. I said, where my phone at? But by that time, it was already too late. She had already, my sister already read all my messages. Whatever I was talking about, she already read everything. <laughs> she had already read everything. And she had went and told my mama. And I was like. So my mom was like trying to be discreet and say something to me about it. And I was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. She was like, well, it's in your phone. Look, lady, I don't know who phone that is because it ain't mine. So. <laughs> And so like like it was so weird and like like my boyfriend at the time like once my mama kind of like well once my mom basically found out she she stopped 
liking the guy that I was dating at the time. She didn't want to talk to him. She didn't want him in her house. She didn't want him nowhere near her. Like, it was just a mess. And I was just like, like, bro, my sister pissed me off, dog. I'm just like, so you really had to, like, you really had to do that? Like, and, I mean, of course it was bound to happen because it's like, everybody knows you and everybody if you got anybody phone you gonna look through anybody phone so of course she was just like oh but let me look through my little sister phone real quick and i'm just like well you could have kept that to yourself you ain't have to tell my mama you ain't have to tell my mama like that so yeah after that my mama she she ain't really um she ain't really freak with the guy that i was dating at the time she didn't want to talk to him or none of that so luckily I ain't getting in trouble. I ain't, I like. I ain't really getting no like harsh trouble. She ain't giving no whooping or nothing like that. But she was just, she was just like, um, telling me that um, I better not be doing stuff I ain't got no business doing, and just crazy. But yeah, that's basically the story time on how my mom found out that you know her her, her little girl was an virgin no mom. Oh. Look, you live and you learn, okay? You live and you learn. Um, but um, if you guys enjoyed this story time, please make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you do keep spawning the culture all 2020. Gang, gang, gang. Um, if you guys want more story times, just let me know. And of course, I'll keep them coming. Um, and like whatever other videos you guys want to see, just let me know. Keep those coming as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe all that good stuff stay safe stay clean stay home you already know we're on the road to 600 subscribers so